Sunrise over Latin America. One of the most rich and diverse continents on the planet. From Brazil to Mexico, Puerto Rico to Argentina, its 33 countries and dependencies have a combined GDP of over five and a half trillion dollars and are home to over 600 million people. The astonishing development of Latin America has been powered by trade. And for over a quarter of a century, commodity trading firm Trafigura has been one of its driving forces. It's a region very important from the group, an area that we purchase most of our uh, concentrated metals in countries that have a long mining tradition, as Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Mexico. And also we have uh, largest activities on uh, oil division. This region is growing, you know, that there is a necessity to deliver the products in different countries. All this along with the infrastructure business that Trafigura has been investing in this part of the world. At its heart, Trafigura is a trading company. In Latin America, the two trading divisions, oil and petroleum products, and metals and minerals, share the same headquarters in Montevideo, Uruguay. We detect imbalances in the oil and gas demand and supply in Latin America. We then interact with our customers, which are both private and state-owned companies, to offer them solutions. Naturally, the market is short the refined products, such as gas oil, gasoline, LPG, and it's long crude oil. What we normally do is supply them with these refined products from different pricing centers, and then we also lift from these customers crude oil, which they go to the different refineries all around the world. Trafigura's largest client on the oil side of the business is Puma Energy, an industrial investment of Trafigura and a company that represents an important strategic commercial relationship. Puma Energy has become in the last decade the biggest integrated independent oil company in the world. It's not only fuels, uh, gasoline and diesel, we offer retail service stations with state-of-the-art convenience stores. We offer also liquefied petroleum gas, uh, bunker fuels, fuels for the aviation. Mining activity in Latin America dates back to pre-colonial times and continues at a prolific pace to this day. For Trafigura, the region is immensely important, providing materials representing 50% of the company's lead, copper and zinc trading books. In terms of the Trafigura role in the mining activity overall, but especially in LATAM, I would say that has been a very successful story. We have been able to provide service that involve helps in the logistic, with the warehouse, in financing. That has allowed us to be able to attend small, medium, large customers. We have been able to adapt to the specific requirements they have. Our mission is advancing trade. We connect commodity producers across the continent to markets across the world. And one of the ways we do this is by investing in world-class infrastructure and logistics services. Impala Terminals is a company dedicated to providing access and capacity for uh, warehousing and shipping of ores and concentrates mainly. That's one side of our business. We are an, an integral part of the Trafigura Logistics. A second line of business that we have in Impala is transportation. We have to be very efficient in the way we handle, receive and export concentrates. Also, we have to keep up to date with environmental issues, so it's also important for us that uh, we have top technology in our infrastructure to mitigate any impact that we might have in our surroundings. An important part of our, of our operation structure is our high standards for uh, health and security and safety inside our premises. That's our biggest selling point in most of our premises. The overall management for all of Trafigura's operations in Latin America is centered on its new purpose-built Montevideo office. Tribute House. 
Here, employees from 20 nationalities come together to support group activities in 26 countries. The fact that we are all sitting together helps a lot. It's giving us the possibility of doing things that we were not able to do in other offices, like for instance, merging concentrates and, uh, and oil, which are the two mainstreams of uh, our business. Tribute in its design, it's basically holding all the concepts about how we run the business. We wanted the building basically to tell the story of Trafigura on how we do things and why we do it. Neighboring Argentina is the home to the $350 million fluvial transportation project based in Campana, operating as Petromining. La hidrovía Paraná-Paraguay es la tercera hidrovía más grande del mundo, después de la hidrovía americana y la china. Son 3.000 barcazas y 200 remolcadores que navegan 5.500 kilómetros de río sobre los países de Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Bolivia y Brasil. Actualmente la terminal presta el servicio de almacenamiento con la recepción de producto a través de buques, almacenamiento en tanques y despacho hacia barcazas. Eh, o buques. Fluvial transportation is also an important part of Colombian operations, but the billion dollar investment here extends beyond the Magdalena River and aims to transform the whole of Colombia. In Colombia, Impala is promoting the multimodal transportation in order to offer an integrated service to the customers. We are combining from Barranquilla and Cartagena the fluvial transportation with the trucking transportation to the interior of the country. We move all the cargo by the Magdalena River up to Barranca Bermeja and we change the transportation mode from fluvial to trucks to deliver or uh, pick up the goods in Medellín, Bogotá or the main destinations in country. In terms of uh, real activity in country, we are pioneers here. With the river and the multimodalism, we can offer a much better reliable service to the customers. Across the Andes, on Peru's Pacific coast is Callao. Trafigura has invested in a state-of-the-art facility, creating the largest roofed mineral export facility in the world. Recently, a 120,000 square meter roof has been added to help protect the local environment and make operations more efficient. Impala Callao is very well located in front of the port of Callao. Eh, con acceso directo para la faja transportadora de barque de concentrados y con conexión a instalaciones de ferrocarril. Eh, recibimos la carga de los concentrados proveniente de, de la Sierra Central principalmente eh, por ferrocarril y por camiones. The source of some of Callao's concentrate is the Catalina Huanca lead and zinc producing mine in the Peruvian Highlands. This network of underground mines has made full use of mechanization to increase its productivity. Catalina Huanca is part of Trafigura since 2005. Today, Catalina Huanca is the fifth producer of zinc in Peru. We produce 100,000 tons of concentrates per year. Concentrates of high quality, completely clean, which is a aggregated value que Catalina ofrece a Trafigura dentro de su línea de negocio. Manzanillo, in Mexico, is home to another large Trafigura facility. Recibimos prácticamente el 80% de los productores que existen dentro del país, productores mineros de cobre, plomo y zinc, en algunas ocasiones también igualmente de mineral de hierro. Las instalaciones están hechas precisamente para poder recibir y almacenar este tipo de productos dentro de la instalación con los mejores estándares de calidad medioambiental. Just outside Rio de Janeiro is the landmark Porto Sudeste project, a joint venture with Mubadala. Porto Sudeste is the most important infrastructure project implemented in Brazil in the last decade. It's a terminal dedicated to export bulk solids. Brazil today exports around 300 million tons of iron ore. Port Sudeste can increase its capacity to 100 million tons.
Across the globe, all of Trafigura's operations adhere to the very highest safety and environmental standards. Equally important is the way that we work with local communities. Trafigura wants to be acknowledged as a leader in our sector because of the way we manage corporate responsibility. Implementing responsible community relations is a cornerstone to this. We allow local teams a lot of flexibility in the way they choose to engage with community. Operations like Catalina Huanca and Impala Terminals Colombia have permanent citizen information offices. Other operations just rely on one-to-one -one meetings with stakeholders to carry out their engagement. In terms of our social programs, it is different as well. Catalina Huanca, for instance, has focused a lot on agribusiness programs, whereas Callao has focused on nutritional and after-school programs for children. Trafigura's astonishing progress in Latin America has not happened by chance. We have invested in infrastructure projects, created integrated solutions, strengthened supply chains, used our financial resources, worked closely with local communities, and created a strategic partnerships with the sole aim of providing a better service for our customers and advancing trade for the continent. None of this, of course, would happen without the passion and commitment of the people who work for us. The spirit that you find in Trafigura is key. I'm convinced that has been the drive and the, the engine for this company to succeed. Each day is a new adventure for us, either if it's in infrastructure, new trades, new customers, and that keeps me well motivated and hungry. We are confident that this will create a revolution in country. When you see a new port built in a city which doesn't have port orientation, as in Barranca Bermeja, and you develop a new companies to support your operation, that motivates me. This is a company that is being acknowledged and recognized because of our efforts to behave in a responsible way. The secret is to be very, very creative and have a very motivated workforce by adapting in pilot and understanding the trading philosophy of, of Trafigura, we think that's key for the success of both companies. When I started uh, back to 23 years ago, I, I, we never imagined I, that we achieved today. I'm very proud of, of our people, I'm very proud of, of the success of the company, not just in Latin America, but around the globe. Trafigura is a company that's always seeking to improve itself, looking for efficiencies, looking for being the best in the market. The bar is always very high, but it's a great opportunity to be the best of the best.